Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro, welcome back to Mr. Weasel Art and today I'm going to paint a bridge or more like a part of a bridge that's still standing. I'm going to use uh, three points perspective so we can view it from a, a, an angle which is a little bit more uh, dramatic or something like that. I made a video about perspective, you can check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link on, on the cards and remember to subscribe, leave a like and now let's go! So I start the painting by positioning all of the vanishing points. I created this image of a vanishing point, which I can create uh, uh, copies of it inside the painting software to create the other vanishing points. All of them, they are going to be out of the canvas. There is going to be one on the left, the, another one on the right, and the third one, which you can see here, is just below the canvas. And the reason for that is I don't want the bridge to be too distorted in perspective. I want it to be a little bit uh, kind of dramatic, but not too much. So that's the reason why I put all of them uh, out of the canvas. You can see that all of the lines of the bridge, they are going uh, to the directions of the vanishing points. So the bridge, uh, the main direction of the bridge is following uh, the vanishing point on the right side of the canvas. So you can see that all of the lines that go uh, towards that direction, they are pointing to that specific vanishing point. And the same thing goes to the uh, other two directions. The height is following the vanishing point below the canvas and the width of the bridge is following uh, the direction of the vanishing point on the left side of the canvas. I want to comment some uh, things about the perspective of other elements here in this painting, such as the mountains, uh, the ocean and the reflections on the water, such as the uh, reflection of the bridge that you can see me paint here. So this reflection, it actually uh, follows the same points of perspective as the bridge, because the reflection of the bridge on the surface of the water is just like if uh, there's another a virtual bridge under the water upside down and that's the reason why it follows the same points of perspective. But the perspective of the mountains and the ocean is actually a little bit different. So the, o the ocean is uh, more simple actually, it's just uh, below our eye level and it's horizontal because it follows the same line as our uh, line of sight, our eye level and the mountains, they are following actually uh, two vanishing points, the one on the left side of the canvas and the other one uh, below the canvas. So when we are positioning all of the elements uh, on the painting, we have always to ask ourselves which directions are they facing, so it's not like all of the elements are going to follow exactly all of the same vanishing points, and that's uh, the main reason, because they are facing some of, some of them might be facing different directions. Now you can see me paint the shadows of the broken stones and in my case, at least in my case, uh, th that's always a good challenge to paint uh, something uh, like that. And as, as in previous videos, you can see that I'm working in the value scale, so I don't need to worry about the full colors uh, of the bridge and the whole scenario. I can decide that at the end when I apply uh, the gradient maps. When I'm painting the lights and shadows, I'm always thinking uh, through the whole process in, in layers, actually. It doesn't mean that I need to create different layers in the software, you can actually do that, but what I actually mean is uh, 
First I'm going to paint one part of the shadow, then I'm going to paint uh, over uh, a second part of the shadow, and then I'm going to add uh, reflected light and other effects, and that, and after that I might add some uh, more uh, texture and things like that. I think that this kind of process uh, helps to bring out a more, uh, how can I say, a more uh, solid uh, painting. Now you can see me paint some effects uh, on the reflections on the surface of the water and also uh, I add some uh, highlights and I'm using some perspective lines just to help me a little bit with uh, the directions. And we are going uh, towards the, the end of this painting, I'm almost finished with all of the values here. So I added some cracks to the bridge, I'm painting some clouds on the sky and some other stuff like that. I'm also adding a little bit of texture and basically that's it. Uh, now I'm going to move on to the gradient maps and we are done I think with uh, this painting. Alright, so here we have the final painting after the uh, gradient maps. Uh, it's actually not uh, completely finished, I still want to do some more stuff, but I think it's enough to show you uh, the main principles of applying perspective uh, in this video. So there you go! So that's the bridge! I didn't have time to add up some more details and some stuff such as the stones that make up uh, its uh, structure. As soon as I do that I'm going to uh, upload uh, the image to my uh, portfolio on ArtStation, there's a link to it in the description of this video, uh, but I hope you got the general idea on how to use perspective to create a, a scene or something like that. And I hope you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, follow me on Instagram at mr.weasel.art and also check out my other videos that you might also like. And that's it for today, see you next time, bye!